What are you waiting for? Come on, let's get to the cafe. Let's get to our room as well. One of the things that you would worry about at a hostel is security, right? Uh, here, not a problem. We're coming up to the door right here, and look, nobody's gonna get in. There's also an elevator that you can go through on the other side, and you can only get access to the elevator if you have a room card, which I'm gonna show you right now. So the room card that you get from the host right here, it's gonna open the door, it's gonna light up, also, if you happen to forget your room card, you can also enter the number that the host provides for you. So, welcome to Tipsy Taipei Cafe and Bar. So when you walk to your right, you're going to find the bar and cafe. Is it what you would think of a hostel? No, right? Not a typical hostel, I would say. So this place I found on Airbnb, I don't know if you've heard about it, it's a really innovative app to find nice cheap places to stay and I'm on a budget right now so staying at this place for $63 is not bad. Alright, I'm gonna take you now to my room. <laughs> If you're alone here in Taipei like I am, free walking tour of Taipei so you can sign up online and somebody will give you a walking tour and they'll take you to different famous uh, buildings here in Taipei, they'll take you out to eat and it can either be just you and the tour guide or if some more people join along you'll have company and you'll be able to make friends. I was originally going to do this today but since I made a friend I'm going to hang out with him. Right, here is the hallway. This is the elevator I was talking to you about. The elevator works from 7.30 to 23, so 11 at night. And you can only get access if you have a card. They have a wall here that you can write on. Here everybody leaves messages for the host. Lynn, I had a lovely and unforgettable time here and I leave with some fond memories. I'll visit again soon. Here's another review. We have somebody from Japan. Uh, best place to stay. It's so cozy that I ever slept every single day. Thank you so much. See you again in Taiwan. We have the shower room. And now this hostel is for both men and women. As you can see, we have unisex showers, but also for females, we have female-only shower. Like I said again, people might be worried about security, but nope, no way I can get into the room without a key card. Here's the room that I am staying in, and this is a mixed room. There are one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six beds. Fortunately for me right now, I'm the only one staying in this room. It's like having my own room to myself. I'm happy about that. They were just telling me it's not peak season here in Taiwan, so there's a lot of vacancy. Peak season here in Taiwan is, of course, summertime. I didn't really make my bed, but here's what it looks like. It's a pretty comfortable bed, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really need much, but this is more than I thought I would get. I'm gonna climb in here. There is enough space for me. Once you get into your bed, plug in your key so that the electricity starts working. You have a little on and off switch here and you have a universal plug so that's pretty nifty. Also, uh, here in Taiwan the weather is humid so there is a air conditioner if you want. I'm really loving this place, I'm really digging it. It's really comfortable, the hospitality is great and I would suggest staying at a place like this. On Airbnb, I actually picked this place because uh, there have been a lot of people that have left good reviews. Uh, right now that I looked recently, it was uh, 34 people that had stayed here have left um, four stars or higher reviews and each one of them is satisfied and would want to stay here again. So that's why I chose this place. I had different places to choose from. Uh, some of them were cheaper, but without reviews, I'm not going to stay somewhere. So this place is pretty popular and getting more popular as I speak. Right now I'm going to take you to some of the other facilities that this hostel has. So let's go. And oh yeah, I almost forgot, don't forget to take your key or you're gonna get locked out. I just found out they have single rooms. Uh, here's what one of the single rooms looks like. Gotta say, first of all, I can see pretty spacious for two people. Here they have a desk, not bad. Air conditioner and if I sit down here, TV. <laughs> I'm all sprawled out and they just clean, but beds. Comfortable. Also, the rooms come with a shower and toilet. 
don't have to leave the room if you don't want to so not a bad setup I actually used it earlier if you have to wash clothes they have a washer and a dryer of course we're at a hostel so you have to respect everybody that's around you so no laundry after 11 p.m. if we keep walking out here we have a nice little area where you can either wash your clothes I guess wash your shoes. You have a little view of the buildings in Taiwan. This district that I'm in is actually one of the oldest districts here in Taiwan. That's why the buildings look a little bit old and decrepit, but nonetheless, it's a beautiful, beautiful country. So they have a full functioning computer here. You can go online and do whatever you gotta do. It's free, no need to pay for anything else. Talking about computers and stuff, I wanna talk about Wi-Fi here. They, they have Wi-Fi all over the hostel that you can use and it's pretty fast. All I've been doing is watching YouTube videos and I've had no problems. Something else that I wanna show you that they have here is lockers. So if you need to lock anything up, they have that. They will give you the key. Uh, this is to keep like pretty much all your small valuables. So that's how much space you'll get. I'm pretty sure they'll let you rent out more than one locker. Let's go to the main lobby cafe area and see if Lynn is there. Lynn, you in here? Yes. How's it going, Lynn? Not too bad, you? What are you doing right now? I, I'm doing the new cake and the new flavor. Oh, okay. I made by myself. Oh, really? So homemade stuff? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nice. Since I've, I've shown everybody your hostel, do you want to say anything? Uh, welcome Taipei. Hope to see you soon. <laughs> Cheers. What made you want to open up a hostel? Uh, because I like to make friends. You like to make friends? All around the world. All yeah. around the world? So, I think it's a very cool idea. So I want to have a place and uh, everyone around the world can visit me. Have you ever traveled yourself? Yeah, somewhere, but not much. Not much? Not much? Yes, okay, yes, so yes. you want to meet a lot of new people here. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's my dream, so I want to make it come true. Okay, yes. that's great. <laughs> this is a nice place you have here. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to test, I tried to test. Oh, is it good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta try it before you give it to your customers, right? Mm hmm yes. Mm hmm so sweet. <laughs> Okay, that was the tour of the hostel. What do you think? It's a totally new experience for me, staying at a, a hostel. I had always stayed at apartments, and they kind of got really expensive for me, so I wanted to take a different kind of uh, direction with traveling and traveling on a budget. This place has all the amenities you need. The checking in process was easy. The checking out process is easy as well. Like he said, he wanted to meet a lot of different people. I talked to him about El Salvador. We actually had a conversation earlier about Jennifer Lopez and Selena. Jennifer Lopez acted out Selena's life in the movie Selena. I don't know if you know about it, but he learned something new. Uh, I'm learning something new from him and staying here. It's all been fun. So that was the tour. Hope you liked it. I wanted to show you a little bit of what traveling with Jose is like. My friend is about to be here right now, so I'm gonna get ready, go to Taipei 101, and I can't wait for you to see everything else. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This video is a different kind of feel, so hopefully you like taking part of traveling with Jose. Until the next video, bye.